Alright everyone, I'm back with World 8. This is the Clock Tower Factory, and this stage is called Pistons. Remember I said the game was going to be getting a lot harder? This is where it starts. World 8. Death is everywhere on this stage. And it's horrible. We just first wait for the pistons to go back down and then duck towards a safe center spot if you possibly can. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. OMG. OMG. Pay attention to the pattern of the pistons. They seem to move towards the center and out towards the uh, corners. So that's the pattern that you want to know when to move with. And oh my god, I made it. I'm surprised I made it. Ah, next stage. Just go. Just go. Soft green. Um, what you want to do at this stage is just simply press the play button. There's no secret about it. Just press the play button and then just move move up it. Like, uh, just start right on it. Ah, or you can just fall right off it. Ah! Ah, okay, retry, retry. I need enough speed. Give me some speed. Go, monkey, go. All right. No, I went too fast. Obviously, there's a balance issue with the stage, and it does indeed look like some sort of cream swirl, like perhaps uh, ice cream cone or something. Okay, stay on it, stay on it, stay concentrate, concentrate. Sometimes I think it's easier to do when it's faster, honestly, but I, I think it's easier. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I think it's easier and it's fast, sometimes I don't. I, I, I guess it depends on the day, so to speak, on how I'm playing. But I did it just fine when it was slow. Oh my god, not momentum! No! No, anything but this one. As you can see, there's two, uh, like, office supply toys there, just bumping themselves back and forth, and you gotta switch sides! Ah! And the timing is extremely crazy. And But the hardest point is when you... Um, we have to move along the sides of those uh, things that are attached to the platforms. That's when it gets absolutely nuts, like right here, because it's completely blind and you don't know the timing of it. And it's nearly impossible to tell by your map alone. Even if you zoom out like I just did there. Well, maybe it's not that hard if you zoom out. Yeah! Oh! Come on, PK Gam. You can time it better. You can do this! Believe in yourself! Yeah! Go, 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 go! Oh, oh! I, I don't know how you survived that, but I made it. <gasps> and next one, 8-4. Entangled Path. Oh, no, not this one, too! This one's so stupid! The pause button on this one only works temporarily, and then it, and then it unpauses itself. See the, this path? You gotta get to the end of it with the goal on the very tip of it. Well, it's gonna start tangling around all over the place and you gotta kinda wait for it and... The, the tip of it is extremely crazy and there's nothing that you can do to stay on it. It just f flies right out from underneath you. So what you have to do is wait for the, pa to, the path to straighten out and then make a quick beeline towards the... Whoops, whoa, this isn't the... Wait, wait. That's the fast forward button. Oh, I could have sped it up a little bit. Uh, I guess there is no pause button. That explains it. Man, am I stupid today. Okay, run, 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 go, 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 I failed. Ugh. As you can see, it just pretty, pretty much flies out of your feet if you don't do it properly. Restart that I'm cutting the camera till I get near the end. Attempt number two, here we go. Go. Go! Speed! Faster! Go! Monkey! Go! 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 Keep control! Keep control! Yes! Go! Two tries! I can't believe it! Whew. I guess the trick is to control your bounces before that platform moves out from under your feet. Alright! Totters! This one isn't bad in the slightest, and I'll show you why. Because basically what you can do is fly right through them. You can just dash right th or you can just you know like fly right out of them if you mistime your thing but yeah it's not hard at all like go right here and then go on this one and wait for the oh okay maybe it is kind of hard if you aren't going fast enough uh, I'm just gonna try and floor it because I remember just being able to go like 
flippity floppy right over the things and oh wait these tip oh now I remember why I had to do it fast okay arg I forgot my strategy for this stage go monkey yeah oh no no I'm stuck in it I'm stuck in it and when we flopped out oh come on you can do the speaking again believe in your monkey trust oh <laughs> I'm just gonna fly out all over the place, aren't I? But that's what you guys want to see. You want to see the failures and flop, flop. Ah, oh, it's gonna tip me off again. Not flip me off. Tip me off. <laughs> okay. Let's see what I can do here. What can I do to offset the timing? Can I go at it like this? Uh, no, not really. How did I do this one before? I used. I didn't remember having so much trouble with this one. Uh, I'll just floor it again. Yeah, too fast! <laughs> but that kind of worked. I just gotta slow it down on that last shot. Floor it, floor it, floor it, floor it. Go! Go! Yes! Okay, that works. Whatever. Just floor it and just jump to the end. <sighs> that was more trouble than it was worth, I think. Okay, Vortex! Uh, what you wanna do on this one? Slow it down. Uh, actually, wait, do you have to do anything on this one with the switches? No, you don't. Just get on it. Just wait for it to... Uh, oh, I guess I could reverse its direction. Just to make it go a little bit faster. And here comes the edge. Get ready to get on it. Wait, it's gonna go around me? What are you doing that for? Don't do that! I can't get on you when you're like that. You gotta wait for it to be moving in your direction. Otherwise, you can't do anything about it. Here we go. And we're... How the heck did that happen? That's not supposed to happen. I call physics glitch. Ah. You can't hit the fast forward button to make it go a little faster, but I wouldn't recommend that. Because you're likely to get blown and knocked right off, I mean. Alright. We're waiting, we're waiting, and we're on. See, this is what's supposed to happen. What the heck? That wasn't supposed to happen either. There's a little edge there. Ah. And maybe I'll hit the play button to see if it'll go a little faster or reverse button. Can I make it? I don't know if it'll make it go any faster to, I mean, to flip it around. Because all it does is that it reverses a few times. Why is it making me fly up when I hit that edge? That's not supposed to do that. In fact, I never remember it doing that. And I know I'm not hitting the very corner of it. You know, the very edge of it that actually has a lip. It's like it's, it's offset for some reason. It's not supposed to be. That's really weird. Alright, let's try it again. There we go, and keep on it, keep on it, keep on it, keep on it, stay stay towards the center if you can. Now get yourself around it, and start off towards the side, because you're going to be pushed towards the goal, which is right here, and we made it. <sighs> scary, scary, very scary, and next one, warp. Oh no, it's unscary, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to do it in the next part, world eight is taking Okay, we're back with war more World 8 Madness. This one is called Warp. This one, be very careful. The op it's trying to push you off the edge. If you get too close to the edge, you will fall off the edge. And that is big trouble for you. And I just realized something. Why the heck do I always say we're back? Uh, this is not a we. This is just a me. It's an I. It's a single person. What am I thinking? And this one is very steep. Stay as close to those bumpers as you possibly can. Otherwise, you'll fall off. Attempt two at the third part. Remember, stay close to the bumpers as you possibly can. If you hit a bumper, it's pretty much over. Uh, yeah. So don't hit a bumper if you can. The second goal is to your right. I would not recommend going in that second goal. It is a little dangerous. Look at the bumper surrounding it. Then that will pretty much be the end of you if you try and go go for it. This one is called trampolines. Not hard in the least. You just have to be kind of quick when you get up get to the upper tier. See those things that are going along the edges? When they get to the end, they uh, propel you upwards. Those little bars there are used to sort of give you the timing of these things. And go, 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 go! There's the goal. No problem whatsoever. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> it's just swing shaft. Um, this one isn't that bad at all. All you have to do is 
when that shaft starts to get to its highest peak in its swinginess, so to speak, you just have to go behind one of these little bars here. Like you want to, now you want to switch sides, and now you'll be able to move freely. Now you want to switch sides as it goes to the other side. And would you look at that? We're done. It's actually kind of hard to get on it and get off it. That's like the only hard part of the stage, and that's the only thing that you'll have to worry about whatsoever. Next stage is called Linear Seesaws. Um, I think this one's a timing based one. Like, you gotta get the seesaws to stay up high enough for you to uh, 